What's going on guys, I'm Bloody Epsil, call me Brock, and welcome back to another playthrough challenge video. Last time, I beat Pokemon HeartGold with only Generation 2 Dark types. Let's keep that similar feeling. This time, I'm taking Mr. Snowplow's suggestion and see if I can beat Pokemon Ruby with a team of only a single Poochiana. Poochiana has a base stat total of 220, with attack being its best stat. Since Darchi moves are special in this game, stab is going to be a bit of an issue. Move-wise, it's only normal and Darkty moves via level up with a small variety from TMs. As far as the rules go, you can only use a single Puchiana in battle. No in-battle items can be used, but held items are allowed. HM Sleeves can be used outside of battle, but that's it. And finally, no glitches can be used. Before we start, I'd like to apologize for this video taking so long to come out. The plan was for a Badu solo run and Pokemon Sword to be made before this, but it was really easy and very unfulfilling, so I just started on this one instead. Hey guys, before we start the challenge, real quick, um, only like 20% of you guys are subscribed, so that other 80% of you, do me a favor, click the subscribe button, it's free, and you know, you don't really lose anything out of doing it. So yeah, click the subscribe button, thank you, please, you're a great person. Without further ado, let's start the challenge. After breaking out of prison, we can save Bertram being eaten by a vicious puppy, and name it Doggo. Next, we feed him chicken and catch some zigzag goons so they can pick up rare candies to cut down grinding. Learn that trick from my dry bread. We can then grind against some early trainers and help Wally throw a ball. We can then enter the forest, have a dog fight, and this professor guy gives us a ball to play fetch with. We make it to the gym at level 17, and we have bites, so I thought this would be pretty easy. Yeah, we lost. We can head back at level 20 and win pretty easily, though. We have another dog fight, save Briny's dog, become an errand boy for stone, and run on a boat. Once we get to Duford, I try my hand at the gym, and yeah. That didn't go well. Instead, we find Steven creeping in the cave, and we go train over at Slateport. I also take out the museum story and head north to basically stop me into the dirt. I try to see if I can do better in the electric gym, and we don't thanks to Thunder Wave and Sonic Boom. I decided to teach Doggo Rock Smash to have something super effective against Steel types, but that still wasn't enough. This is when I went back to Duford, and unexpectedly, we crushed the gym. We were overleveled, but I didn't expect that. Afterward, I grinded to level 40 before taking on the electric gym again. Since our main issue was Thunder Wave, I had Poochie learn Taunt and set up Howl multiple times. With that strategy, we can knock out Magnemite, Voltorb, and Magneton with one hit each. Now we can head through a slew of routes, pick up the TM for Dig, do the story we in Meteor Falls, and pick up this heart scale, which will be used later. We can then go to the top of a seemingly active volcano. I've already stated my grief with this. Breathe in. Breathe out. <coughs> Sorry, I doubt you guys wanted to hear that. Anyway, when we battle Maxi, I set up with Hal, but we hit ourselves in confusion thanks to Mighty and a Swagger. However, we can knock out Mighty and a Golbat, but when we try to use Dig and Camera up to use its magnitude, oof. <laughs> the second time, we get through this battle with no issues and make our way down to Lava Ridge Town. When we enter the gym, we have to deal with this dumb glitch fog again and have a very underwhelming battle versus Flannery. Dig more or less one-shot everything, so we can move right on to Norman. In that gym, Dig can handle the slackings by dodging while they attack, but we constantly get taken out by Vigoroth. But on one lucky run, after grinding him up multiple levels, we get a crit and knock out Vigoroth. Which could have happened 10 battles ago! But I digress, and we get the badge. We can then head through some more routes and do the Weather Institute story, battle and beat May again, and zoom right past Fort Tree to Lily Cove to forget Rock Smash. I'm actually pretty worried about this gym because Winona's Skarmory resists all of our attacks. This is when I decided to see what hidden power type Doggo had. Turns out, it's Bug Type. Worthless! I try the gym anyway, and we can actually get past Skarmory, but we take too much damage and get knocked out by Altaria. We tried a few more times at a higher level, and Altaria tried to use Dragon Rage to set up, but it opened the window for us to knock it out and get another badge. We can then move through some more routes and do the story stuff in Mount Pyre, grab the Shadow Ball TM, and enter the Magma Base. We can grab the Mash Ball, which we have no use for, and beat Tapitha so we can follow the submarine. But before we do that, we head over to Moss to take on the gym. We went in at level 69, nice, and things didn't go too well. Soul Rock lives a crunch and heals, and we get put to sleep by Lunatone's Hypnosis. This allows for Soul Rock and Lunatone to knock us out very easily. This is when I decided to cut bait with Stab Attacks and replace Crunch with Shadow Ball. They're about the same base power and super effective on the same things. But Shadow Ball lets us utilize our physical attack where Crunch doesn't. This was a great decision because Shadow Ball knocks out Lunatone and Soul Rock with one shot each. After the gym, 
We can take a quick side trip to get a shell bell and trek to the Undersea Cavern to fight Maxi. Spider Confusion screws us over the first time, but the second time, we didn't hit ourselves one time in confusion. We then one shot all of Maxi's Pokemon, and Maxi then proceeds to try to control the red Pokemon with the blue orb. What a dumbass. The world begins to blow to a crisp while we head to Zetopolis. We do the crap in the cave of origin, catch Groudon because I ain't find no Godzilla. What all the like to you, King Kong? Anyway, we can enter the gym, begin setting up Howl's and Slub Disc until Confusion gets us down to red HP. That's what we let him have with the slew of Shadow Balls, one shotting most of all is his team. Melota can live one, but keeps healing, damn snake, but it eventually faints. Now we can head up a waterfall to get to Evergreen City and enter Victory Road and run into this prick! I never would have thought some random ace trainer named Samuel and his bitch ass Dodrio would have made me grind to level 100! I couldn't get past this thing! He's either immune or resist all my moves and his try attack hits like a truck! I have out the most powerful victory cry when I beat this cocky little- <laughs> Wally wasn't even a challenge, so we can move on to the Elite Four, and the first battle was ridiculous. We set up with Hal and destroy most of Sydney's team, but Swagger Confusion takes Puccina from 214 HP to 6! I wasn't even mad, that was just funny. The second run went better. We basically used the same strategy of Hal and attack against every member. That worked for Sydney, Phoebe, and Glacia, but Drake. Oh boy. Sin attacks from his fly guns made us miss enough attacks against Salamence, which made us lose. God, evasion sucks. We get better luck the second time, but we have yet to face our biggest challenge yet. Steven has a Skarmory with Toxic. All of our attacks are resisted, and the only way to knock this thing out fast enough is by setting up with Howl, but Toxic shuts everything down really quick. This battle took so many attempts. I had to teach Puccina Taunt to prevent Toxic, so we even had a chance to set up for the rest of his team. We get whittled down to red by Skarmory before knocking it out. We can then one-shot Armada with Dig, get up another Howl while Clay all setting up with Light Scream, and knock it out with Shadow Ball, hit Aggron with Shadow Ball, and we can live an Earthquake from it and knock it out afterward. One-shot Clay with Dig, and knock out his Metagross with a Shadow Ball, making us the champion with a single Poochiana. That was the luckiest attempt of my life. This run was weird. I'm not entirely sure what to say about it. We got started out a couple times at obvious points like at Brawly and the Elite Four, but it was really odd that Skarmory, of all Pokemon, was our biggest issue. Since we didn't have access to any moves that were at least neutral really hurt us. Actually, a lackluster move pool was what hurts the most in this challenge. Anyway, I guess the big question is, can you beat Pokemon Ruby with just a Poochiana? And the answer is, yes. Yes, you can. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of this video. And sorry it took ages to get out. The next challenger video is going to be a bit of a throwback, so stay tuned for that. Anyway guys, I'm Buddy Absol, and I'll catch you guys in the next video, stream, or whatever I do. Peace.